Hey guys, this is Nintendo Girl for Life, aka Mario 399, you know, anyways, so welcome back to Let's Play Super Star Saga Part 13, I think. So last time, uh, we fought Cacletta, we learned the fire thunder hand with Luigi, we, uh, Hi. fought Popple and Bowser, remember who he was, finally. And now, we're out of done, we're gonna go to the fire place and learn Mario's typical fireball attack. There's nothing different about Mario. Luigi is new with the thunder hand. Honestly, yeah, that's true. He's new with the Dunder Hand. The Dunder Hand's new, but the Fire Brand? Come on, Mario throws fireballs all the time. It's nothing new. Yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna go do that now. <clears throat> Alright. And I think I showed off with these guys get hit. And it's kind of funny when they get hit. And they just start saying something over and over. It's like, okay. Nothing in this corner. Alright, so I'm gonna go in this door here. Go over here and make Mar make Mario jump through this hole. Okay, so break this. How <laughs> come a tear just managed to make him big? Some random tear. Super Mario World Star right there. Huh? Welcome, yes, welcome, welcome to the fire palace. I have been waiting for you. I've been, I've been waiting many long years, smoldering like embers. For, y for you, I have kept waiting and waiting and waiting. In fact, the last time anyone came through here was three thousand years ago. Damn, he's old. All waiting just burns me, just burns me up. But enough about that. So why have you come? I mean, I, I think. Huh? You, uh, this place? Um, this place of power? It is, uh, this place is... He's so old that he forgot the name of the place. Wait, now wait a second. Just wait. What kind of pal place was this anyway? Um, what was it that I was planning on doing? I am... I am... I, I am allowed in here? Huh? Wait just a minute. Where am I? Who... Who am I? Damn, he doesn't know who he is. Uh, hmm, I guess I have no guess for 3,000 years. It takes... It. I guess not having no guess for 3,000 years takes a toll. Everything just seems so... Slip one's mind. Har, diddy, har, my... Humorous, my... How humorous, so I guess you can do what you want. I won't, I won't stop you. So, since you let us do what we want, let's touch this thing. With that, Mark gets burned. But, instead of getting burned, he learns a new power. That power is all in his glove. That's funny. Oh, wait, I just remembered. This is the f flame palace where we teach the power. The ways of the blistering hand power. Yes, it is coming back to me. I have been waiting for you. I, you want the hand power, right? You want to master the fiery hand known as the firebrand, do you not? Um, do you... Do you right, right, right! Um, you do not need to tell me. Your pose... Your pose says it all. I shall instruct you th in the arts of the firebrand. First, press the break in the fourth wall, then select the break in the fourth uh, hand power. Fire. Hold the break in the fourth wall until you change. God damn it. Then release the button. Stop breaking the fourth wall! Then only shall you shoot, fu sh shoot fire a mighty blast of flames. Perhaps you should try it once. Let's do it! I'm sorry. I look funny. You have mastered the fire man. I see no problem with your skill. If, yeah, he was, he was, he's been shooting fire through his hands through years, buddy. You should really check up on Mario. If you need, if you just do this action near something flammable, you should have no problem. Surely the skill will open new paths in your life, wouldn't you agree? So farewell. And he just goes away. 
And you know what? I was gonna show the same thing for this guy by burning him, but you know what? Fuck it, I ain't gonna do it. I already showed you guys in the last part when you, when you burn or, 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 or shock those guys. I already showed that, so we're just gonna keep going. I don't know how this is flint. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I play the game, that always amuses me. It's like he's spazzing out. Like, I'm gonna burn you! I'm gonna burn you! Okay, sorry. Anyways, let's go. I should've just brought Luigi over. Oh, screw it. No, it's the same thing I already showed you. If you... If you burn him... That's funny. You think, you think, you think uh, Mario would burn uh, Luigi to a crisp, and you think Luigi would burn, would electrocute Mario to, you know, be dead or something. Anyway, so now that we learned the Firebrand, which is Mario's typical move, and the Dunderhand, which is completely new, we're gonna be using these techniques to get back to, uh, to the BB Kingdom. Well, this is technically the BB Kingdom, but get back to the main part of the kingdom, if you know what I'm going with. No, I think you can stomp on these guys. Aw, oh, poor guy, he's gonna die now. I think he comes back up, let's see. Nope, I think I killed him. Even though his eyes are clearly open, but alright. You know what, I could've sworn if you attack one of these guys, you get something good for it. I think you can burn us here. I don't know, let's see, because I could have sworn you can get something good by killing one of these guys. I can't remember. Oh shit. Yeah, that's what it is, I think. Let's see, let's see what those do. Now I was not reading what he said. Anyways, um... First things first... What am I doing? Let's see... Made. Oh, that's what that is. All right. I thought it was something like really good. All right. Never mind. I should. Did I get any beans lately? All right. No. I'm not gonna do anything. All right. So let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Wait. So I'm about to hear one of my favorite songs in this game. This. That move this bridge pass up out of nowhere, and well, my favorite song coming up. You know what? I think if you fall down to the bottom, you hit it, you lose coins. So I don't want to lose coins. Actually, actually, I'm gonna show you. I don't think you lose coins. I think you just get hit. I'm not sure. I love this music. Okay, so now we're no longer there. We're in the sea bed something side. Oh, Osis. Alright. So let's do this. Dude, let's just read this right here. Tip of novice divers. You can swim by doing solo jumps on the ocean's floor. Tap the buttons quickly to float higher and higher in the water. When two people swim together, they can move much faster go through the water. Alright, thanks for the tip! Oh, it would look like you guys know Philboard in this damn thing. So, here's breaking all logic right here. How the fuck does this work? Breaking all logic, we're fucking underwater, yet we're using fire. Great job, Nintendo! You broke logic again. Good job, guys! Really. And that's just a map of this, and there's a new enemy that's trying to hit us. I guess I would show him off, but I'm... Fuck. And that happens when you do that. Uh, I would find... Oh, let's show him off, why not? A new enemy. This is called... Goomba Diver. Goodbye. Oh, damn it. Well, he's dead. Nil was gonna attack. Oh, jeez! He just dives at you, what the hell? Basically, uh, a Goomba and Scuba gear, even though, thank God, I think I'm about to hit the, the, the stuff again in my. Wait. I thought I was gonna hit that. There's also new enemies in here, which, if, if I happen to run into them, I'll show them off. I think we come over here. We just fall down. 
And another... Now, here's another logic. If we're underwater, how the hell is he using thunder and not electrocuting the entire sea, since water conducts electricity? I don't know how the fuck this works, either. Like, everybody's, everything in this sea is supposed to be dead since he used that. Everything. Like, the entire sea is supposed to be dead, all the fish, including Mario and Luigi. Actually... I'm gonna show you something here. Sometimes, this like, in these little patches here, there's sometimes stuff, so let me see, Luigi, Mario, nope. But sometimes, it, sometimes it's, these little patches have like, beans and stuff, which I don't want to miss any. So, oh god, okay, here we go. Another new enemy, everyone knows the blooper. Which, if I run into him, I'll fight him, but, you know, I'm not looking for a fight, really. You can't go up there. Well, here we go! I guess I'm just about to show this off. Oh god. That's what they do. For some strange reason they're going after Luigi. Alright. He's going after Mario. And he's going after Luigi again. On Damn it, these things have a lot of fucking da um, hits. Damn it. Oh, I killed one. Thank God. And we got some syrup out of them. Let's see what happens if you go this way. I think it's supposed to go this way. Let's see. Yeah, actually. Oh, God, this. Alright, so memory game time. How is this freight? How is this work possible? I think this one was first. I lost track already. I think this one was second. Uh, third? I fucking knew it. So it was one, two, Four, and then five. Breaking logic, people! This is bullshit! And then again, I'm not gonna bring physics into a Mario game. If you do, you're gonna fucking hurt your head. No, not fighting, not fighting, not fighting, not fighting, not fighting. No, please go. And with that, guys, we made it back to the Baby Kingdom side. We're gonna see you soon. Alright. <sighs> see bed castle side. There we go. Now we're gonna go up. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. That's kinda cool how to use the back to back to get out of a pipe. That's actually pretty cool. So with that guys, we're out of here and another cutscene's gonna trigger. Meanwhile, near, th near the border. Meanwhile, near the border! I was trying to make a, um, a, a Yu-Gi-Oh bridge or... Um, Dragon Ball Z a bridge reference. Oh, great, great calculator. Will this guy do? Anyone, I will... Uh, anyone will do now. Hurry, quickly. And with that guy, Bowser becomes a woman. Yeah, Bowser just ha Bowser's gonna have a sex change now. You know, I found- you know what was weird about that cutscene? Why is the teeth sticking out the mouth? It's like it's pointing towards you, not up, like, you know, his teeth should be. Anyways, with that guys, we meet Prince Peasley. <coughs> I have searched high and low for you, for you two. I fear that you met a terrible fate. So, so you see, the star just went up and blew up in pieces and stuff. <coughs> you know what I found strange about that cutscene? How did they know the, the, the bean star blew up if they fell off the star? Yeah. Yes, it is true, the bean star splits into four pieces. They have scattered. It is sad, really. What? You say you'll help search for the bean star pieces? Of course, I will be most... I would be most 
appreciative, I guess. But actually, I'd like you two to go back to go to Bean, Bean Airport. Hee hee hee, you see, Prince Peach, Princess Peach is blessing our fair land with her presence. Uh oh. Hey, the uh, Princess Peach is, uh, right, visit our kingdom in a very serious affair. And that is why I would like to, 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 to in, a, in attendance, to great, greet her royal her loveliness. And as such, you must head for BB, uh, airport, uh, airport immediately. Well, by, well, well, by the by, BB, uh, Airport is south of the Bean Bean King Raven Castle. I must head up there myself immediately, so I'll see you there. Damn. All right. So there's our next mission, Bean Bean Kingdom. But first, let's get this. I think I've done this right. I'm not sure. Let's see. No, where the fuck is two? Anyways, um. Anyway, so we're gonna go to the Bean Bean Castle, which I think is not too far from this spot. So let's see. <clears throat> Wait. Get that. Fuck out of here. All right. Actually, I can show this off. I didn't already did that. I'm not gonna get that yet, Dennis. I already, I already showed it off once, and I got one of them for, just to show you guys about it. And that's leading back to the what's the name? That's leading back to the the who who reversity who reversity who reversity. I can't fucking say it. I think this is a dead end. Yes, yeah, a dead end. I guess I went the wrong way. Oh no, this is a new enemy which I don't want to fight. Alright. So, not that way. I should that we could do stuff here, which... I think we could do some I think there's stuff here we could do. Oh wait, actually this is what I think it is. So, is this, this is... Oh, this is not good. Run! Run! Uh, this is gonna take me back, isn't it? It, it is. Sorry, Mario. Alright, so this isn't the way. No, there's so many selves to this damn kingdom that I can't tell which side for self is the self I'm looking for. We can't do nothing with that just yet. We're getting there, actually. We're getting close, actually. We can't break that rock yet. You miss. Is it this out? Oh, actually, this is it. You know what's funny? I like how he's doing this, and it's not even in the ball. But yet, when you let go of the button, it just magically shows up in the ball. Yeah, great really physics, Nintendo. So let's get this. And this is going to be called Bean Bean Airport Entrance. Yeah. And I lost some money. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm about to get back my money. Why does this block exist? It sucks so much. Balls. Who the hell thought this was a good idea? So we're here at the airport. And another boss is actually coming up. Master Mario only Lime is calling for you. Please go to the runaway runaway right now. Oh shut up. So with that we meet Lady Lima. Oh Master Mario and Luigi. Queen Bean was most pleased by your efforts at the university. By the way, there has been slight hiccups in our plans to welcome Princess Peach. You see, nasty piranha plants have dug their roots into our runway. Her airport can't land. Her airplane! Sorry. That is her airport. Yeah, yeah, an airport landing. Hmm, what? You want to know what? why repairs haven't been made? Well, the great tech will. will the tech letter incident, it didn't seem to be part okay. But what is it Mario and Luigi doing? But enough about that. You must do something about those disgusting piranha plants. For the sake of the princess, you can't refuse, can you? Well then show that Mario Brothers work ethic I hear so much about. 
Alright, before we do that, I'm getting these first. But this is like... what the... You getting these... oh, would you please? Make sure I get everything. All right, so I think there was water in this corner, so we're gonna start off by. Cause I think I got that already. So we'll start by getting fat. So I want to squirt word on their mouth. I'll switch and have them electrocute it. All right, that's one. We have to do the same for the others, so yeah. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I may cut this out, speed it up, because it, this actually takes a while. Uh, Alright, we'll see. Cause Mario walks so slow with the water in his mouth, so yeah. I wonder what happens if you leave him for too long, so yeah. Two. All right. That's the egg, and there's two more over here. Let's see. Now I wonder. Wow. That's helpful, but but the only problem is you have to wait till he squirts out all the water. So yeah. So that's another one. And we do it again. All right. You're better off just doing this because at least when you do it once, the water squirts out. And you don't have to like constantly push the A button just to do that. So anyway, let's go and get knock that out. One more left. I noticed that the crack in the A looks almost like Cackletta's face almost. So I'm gonna get this. And I'm going to lose the last one, but I'm going to fight the boss next time because I am done. I don't feel like doing it right now after this, to be honest. You can tell my voice, I'm kind of drained. So I'm going to come all the way over here. Jump on him. And the last one. The last crack releases a giant piranha plant, which we're not going to fight until next time. So, until next time, see you guys.